Okay, so here's the three cups of flour that we're gonna use to prepare the pie dough. So this is three cups of flour, and in this mixing bowl are two tablespoons of, excuse me, yeah, two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna add that to my flour and mix it together. Just incorporate that. Stay here, I'll be right back. Now I'm adding by hand two cubes of cold butter. Now I pre-cut these to about a large hazelnut size so that when I was ready to put them and incorporate them into the flour, they would be nice and cold. The colder, the better. However, if you freeze butter, it gets really, really hard and it's hard to break it up. What I like to do once the butter is in the flour is with my hand, just make sure that all of the cubes are dusted with flour that prevents them from sticking together when I start to use my pastry cutter to cut the butter into the, the flour so that we make the pie dough. Okay, so they're all kind of coated. Now, with my pastry cutter, I'm going to, whoop, get back in there. I'm going to slowly turn and rock the pastry cutter, incorporating the butter into the flour. This is the part that takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of experience. The more you do this, the more you will start to see exactly what it's supposed to look like. Now, I don't have a Cuisinart large enough, and I don't have a KitchenAid to do this, so I do this by hand. And I actually kind of like doing it by hand because it gives me more feel for and more control about where the texture should be in the flour. So I'm not sure if you can see that or if you're picking it up on camera here, but what it looks like is little tiny peas of butter in the flour. It looks really rough. You kind of want it to look a little bit rough. It almost looks like really thick curd cottage cheese. That would be the best way to describe it. Okay, so when you're at this stage, now you're gonna add one cup of ice cold water. So I've got a cup here, I can just fish out those ice cubes, I don't need those. And a big fork, a little bit at a time, just gonna pour a little bit of cold water in. And it's almost like a folding technique, but I don't really wanna mix it, I just wanna work the water into the dough. It's gonna look really dry, and most people, when they do this, think it's actually too dry, but it's deceiving because the more you mix it, it starts to go together. Okay, so that's the last of that. We're mixing, mixing, mixing. Now, you can see that there's still some flour in there and it looks really, really dry. And it actually kind of is. You want it a little bit dry, but this is where most people make a mistake when they're making pie dough. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it out onto my cutting board. See how dry it is? It's all broken apart, it's not even together. I'm gonna to use my hands and I'm gonna flatten it. And as I do this, I'm pressing that dry flour into the moist water and butter. And by taking my pastry cutter here, and folding it over, I'm creating layers. And the layers is what gives the dough the flakiness. And as you do this and feel this with your own hands, you'll start to feel that dough actually gets a little bit moist. Now, some people like to make one big pie round with this. I personally like to cut it in half so that I know which one is top and which one is bottom and I don't have to do it later. And you can see how flaky that is right there. See how it's starting to flake? Real flaky. Okay, so putting them and forming them into the shape of a, a circle and flattening them out. And then I'm going to get my plastic wrap here. What you want to do is wrap them in plastic wrap, each one of them individually. And you're going to put these in the refrigerator 
Look at that flake. Woo, that looks good. Put them in the refrigerator and let them chill for about at least 30 minutes. I like to leave mine in overnight, but that's just my preference. If you're in a hurry, you can do it in 30. What that does is it allows the dough to rest, and when you take it out after it's rested, it's much more moist and it rolls out perfectly. So here's our number two crust. You can see it's very dry looking, very deceiving. This is where a lot of people make mistakes with their pie dough. Press it together, move it together, roll it together, wrap it up, and let it do its thing. Let it, the magic begin. Done. Thank you.